Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, what's it trying to set up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, who, yep. who's, who, who's in the highest uh, number? Well, we know who uh, it is, right? Because we, didn't we see okay. that in the previous episode? Yep. Oh, so we get Chris Evans' character back, Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers, yeah. yeah. That's Captain right. America. Steve. <laughs> wow. Steve's back. Captain Carter. Yes. Mm. So we're we'll setting up season setting up two. Season, season two. Season two. Yeah. Two. Uh, and there was a Gamora as well. I think. Yeah, finally Gamora. <laughs> the green one. Yeah. They've sort of missed her in all the episodes except for this last one. But somehow it, they, sh they think that's the missing episode that been, everyone's been talking about because it's meant to be ten episodes. Yeah, Steve is somehow alive and active. Yes. Mm. So allowing yeah. Captain Carter to have a different kind of Avengers Endgame ending. A reuniting with her love in the present day. But this is a different Carter, right? <laughs> yeah, this is a different Carter, different story. Mm. Unless Steve Rogers ends up being like the Winter Soldier kind of person. Yeah, yeah. so a, the darker twist is that in Captain Carter's universe, Steve became the Winter Soldier. Mm. Or the Hydra Stomper turned bad. Mm. Maybe. Maybe yeah. Did Steve Rogers become the new Winter Soldier? Who knows? Uh -huh. yeah, Maybe. That, well, that's <laughs> what we think because <laughs> there was only two people who who got frozen in time and came out in the recent mm. present. Yeah. Like yeah. So that's. That's a, not very clear. Hmm. Yep, so we'll find out what happens. Mm. Season two, we'll probably find out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was an interesting episode. Yeah. And it brought all the other episodes together. Yeah, it's a great way to yeah, tie sort of that. Like, it's kind of like him trying to, to form the uh, guardians of the multiverse. Yep. Yeah. So that's we see all of the other stories except Gamora's story. Yeah, that's true, right? Because, because, all, yeah. I mean, that's the funny thing, right? See yeah. Her at all. She no didn't have her own episode, yeah. Mm. But, but I think there should have been one. Mm. But I think because of the whole mm. pandemic thing, they might, they must have like completely pushed it back. Mm. We know that she, all we know is she presumably originated from a timeline where she had never been adopted by Thanos, but was stranded on Sakaar. Yes. So, so that changes everything. Yeah. yeah, so when we see her in this episode, we see her with at the mm. forge. Mm. Destroying the Infinity Gauntlet. And she successfully killed Thanos. Mm. Yeah, which is technically her father. Mm. <laughs> Technically, mm -hmm. technically, yeah. but but in this timeline, she never got adopted by him. <laughs> so, mm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. not really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not in that universe. Not in this universe anyway. Mm. But we never got to see like that sort of episode. So yeah. maybe they'll show it in season two. Mm. Maybe it'll be like a, almost like a flashback kind of episode. <laughs> Because what I, what we think is they possibly meant to have that episode because it was initially slated for 10 episodes. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And then they got, yeah, cut down to, to, uh, yeah. to nine. Yeah, yeah so right. the last episode would have been Gamora's episode. Oh, it could have been, yeah. That's right. Mm. But there's a lot of noise in the background. What's that noise? Okay. Probably Bill, maybe. Bill, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. What, no, what noise did you hear in the background? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of fuzzy noises. Fuzzy, fuzzy stuff. <laughs> okay. Did, did, Captain America, did Captain America meet uh, Captain... Uh, in in this timeline, Steve Rogers never became Captain America, right? Yes. Yeah. And and uh, Cap 
Peggy Carter became Captain, 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 Captain Carter and Captain was Carter. Captain Britain. <laughs> so they never met here. They never met here, technically. Well, well, we I mean, they met. Well, well, in the sacred timeline, she grew old. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. She grew old and, and so, went back in time to spend the rest of her life with yeah. Steve Rogers. Yeah, mm. uh, with uh, mm. Steve Rogers, he went back in time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But this, but the kept, but the Carter that we see, the Peggy Carter that we see in the Sacred Timeline, dies eventually as an old lady after she got dementia. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But then Steve Rogers kissed Sharon Carter. <laughs> Uh, a different guy, <laughs> which is technically the grand niece or something. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is a bit silly. Yeah. Be, like, be, um, be okay. weird. Yeah, that's yeah, it's a bit, a bit weird. weird. Yeah, that was a bit of a weird yeah, thing. Okay. But then he decided to go back in time. You know, to go to, to go the back. go to the younger Peggy Carter, Peggy Carter. to mm-hmm. live. That's interesting. Actually. To live that yeah. life with her, yeah. But how would he explain the whole kissing Sharon Carter thing? Yeah, it's a bit strange, isn't it? So. <laughs> it's a bit strange. So. I don't know why yeah. they even put that in. <laughs> yeah. Although I guess it's it sort of sets up maybe, you know, how Sharon's character changes, like the way that we saw in the, in the yeah. Winter Soldier. Like, why would she, you know, start working for Valentina? Um uh, yeah, how she becomes bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, so like yeah. How, how did she get recruited? And you know, there's a whole backstory there that may have that mm. that may be part of. So, well, we might find out soon. Mm. Well, the new mean... Hawkeye show. Oh, yeah, okay. that's right, yeah. because that's coming soon. And it's I, I saw the trailer, and it looks like a Christmas episode as well. <laughs> like, is is mm. a, set, a Christmas setting? <laughs> oh, this well, is it's this... practically just before. Christmas as Christmas well. Christmas By the way, this is this is what we were saying. So mm. season two will actually explain mm. the Gamora origin. Yeah. Uh, because okay. like like what you said, right? What happened mm. was they originally had an episode planned for earlier in the season that focused on Gamora, but due mm. to the pandemic, this was pushed into season two. Um, okay, so that yeah. episode wasn't finished, and that's why. Yeah, it's, it's not being it's, shown. This one explaining how she actually got the golden armor and everything. Oh, okay. Then that might be the first episode of season two, or maybe the yeah, second could episode. Be, could be, yeah. 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 Because now season two would be a bit out of order mm-hmm. if her story is before season two. Mm. Mm. Okay. Not too sure how they'll do that, but at least we'll see her story eventually. Mm. Yeah, and apparently yeah, another thing I saw is that all of the scripts are now done, so they're okay. pretty fast. Um, moving, pushing forward with the next season. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it is up to wait long for season two, though. <laughs> okay. So but, it's it's a matter of just I guess when they will choose to release it. Well, it's the scripts are done, but obviously that's the have to, to do the animation and everything else. Yeah. yeah. And the voice acting. Yeah, yeah. It's getting and, the actors back as well. Yeah. And yeah. they can't get Chadwick Boseman anymore. Yeah. So that's not possible, but the others they can still get it. Get them. And they brought the zombies back. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice touch. Scarlet Witch as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's good to see Scarlet Witch zombie version. The zombie, the zombie one, which yeah, obviously Ultron. wasn't as strong. Mm. It was strong, but just not as strong as Ultron. Mm. It looks yeah. like uh, Ultron bucked her power and then destroyed the whole mm. planet. Mm. Yeah, destroyed the entire planet. Yeah. Just how powerful he is. How powerful he is. But yeah, but Steve is more clever. He, he's more <laughs> strategic. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So he managed to trap Ultron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he managed. So in the end, uh, Doctor Strange trapped them in the pocket universe. Mm. 
and is now going to look after the pocket <laughs> universe. He's, yeah. like, he's, like, he's like a watcher in a way. He's yeah. watching over the pocket universe. Like the second mm. watcher. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Second in charge watcher. Actually, in terms of all the uh, actors who in this one, yeah, there's obviously a lot of them. They're um, quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all there's coming there's together. Looks like. Jeffrey Wright, Sam, Wright. Sam Jackson, Nick Fury. Yeah. Very briefly. Very brief. Very briefly. Briefly, we even see Crossbones again, briefly yeah. as well. Spring Green, yeah. Heli Atwell, yeah. Black Bell. It just uh, yeah, Frank Willow. Here you go. Crossbones. Crossbones. So mm. recently, we just saw him Barcelona. yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Batroc. And of course, Bad Truck is back. Bad Truck, the villain. Is back. Husband. Yeah. Baseman. Brian, D. oh, this is Peter Quill. Peter Quill, yeah. So Good that's voice. not Chris Pratt. Not <laughs> Pratt, Pratt, Pratt. And then and Tony not Stark. Tony Stark either. Mm. This is a funny one when the watcher mm-hmm. came and he said, "Not you, her." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a funny line, yeah. Choosing yeah. Gamora. Um, yeah. It shows how yeah. Tony's so self egotistical, right? Like he's so yeah. but, but Tony's line was I so slightly changed between like they imagine a suit of armor around the world. Mm. Yeah, around the world, yeah. But mm-hmm. now it's how do we build a suit of armor around the galaxy? Galaxy. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. global and it's 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 scope is far greater now. Yeah. How did Gamora Gamora, the way Gamora she was? wasn't so easy. Um, so this Gamora is actually a good know. good one. Cynthia McWilliams though, not um Zoe yeah. or Saldana. Yeah, they yeah they changed the voice. I kind of told that was not her voice. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't Zoe's mm-hmm. voice. And then make a B Jordan. But at least the character is back. I call B Jordan. Oh, Zioma Akaga. That's yeah, so the not, different Sherry, the young Not yeah. Letitia Wright. Not Letitia. Yeah. Chris Hemsworth, back again. Chris is back. It was Sorry. hilarious again. Cardi Thor. He is so funny. That's the funniest. He had, had, had a lot of funny one. lines in that in this episode, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the like thing he, about. He didn't understand anything. So yeah, that's supposed to be him. Yeah. <laughs> the Chinese food for the multiverse uh, dimension. Chinese food. The Chinese food. food. Yeah. Chinese food. It's like I'm hungry. <laughs> Chinese food. Benedict. Benedict is back, yeah. The tragic figure in what if. Mm. Yeah. So it does seem like this Doctor Strange did change. Mm. Well, for and the he, better, yeah. yes. Then yes. he did explain that his mistake was love as well. Love, yeah. Yeah, he mm. well, who is he speaking to? Um Peggy Carter. Peggy, yeah, Peggy. Mm. Thinking about love. Yeah. Love yeah. for love. <clears throat> Ultron, not James Bader, but Ross McQuan. Yeah, we yeah. talked about that in the last episode. Yep. That was yeah. definitely not James I've Bader. Heard, I've heard of him. McQuan. Mm. He's a veteran voice actor. Mm. <laughs> he looks yeah. familiar. Nice. So what kind of virus killed him? Oh, he's. Uh, he might be. Is he from Walking yep. Dead? Oh, know. yeah. Yeah, right. Yes. Could right. Be. Uh, who's that guy? Uh, the guy, Aaron, Aaron maybe? You're right, it's Aaron from Walking Dead. That's why it looks familiar. Good, good. Yeah. So that was. And Zola um, is back. Zola. So that was the virus. That was the Hydra virus that they was asking about. Yeah. Arnim Zola. Zola. Toby Jones uh, is back. This is the thing, right? They they took him down by injecting a virus. It's so cliche. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'm like. Yeah, they could have just hacked into the system. No, but could but have... it's kind of cool in a tw- in a twisty way. Like it's the Animzola yeah. virus. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> considering if you think Age of Ultron, they did have to hack Ultron to get rid of his network capabilities to defeat him in the movie as well. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Mm. Taking down an AI with a virus. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, <clears throat> like mm-hmm. like uh, what they did with in Independence Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just thinking. Just taking out like, aliens. Yeah. Yeah. That that's very Independence Day. <laughs> Loki, oh yeah. Loki, Loki. came back. Um, as well. Just slightly, briefly, 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 briefly yeah. at the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so many Lokis. What? Mm. So many Lokis. Yeah, at the end. Oh yeah. <laughs> a flying kick from a flying Black kick. Widow. Yeah, so that one was obviously a different Loki universe. Mm. Yeah. 
And but like, yeah, like, Kurt, crazy. Kurt Russell. Yeah. yeah. Like, we're like, yeah. Yeah. a different universe. Too, so Kate Russell actually did come back. Yeah. yeah it's, no, nice to have you yeah. back. Um, Only even if for it's a slight few seconds. seconds. It, yeah, even if it's just a, a few. <laughs> What would happen to the alligator Loki? What happened to the Loki? Alligator Loki. Oh, alligator Loki. Was that <laughs> even in in, uh, yeah. in the episode? In the Loki no series. In the Loki series. Oh yeah. I don't think he came. He appeared in any of the no. what if. No. It's not in what if. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, but <laughs> the creative directors for what if and yeah. The Loki series were different. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're different, yeah, creative teams. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought, story, I thought Loki. that uh, Loki uh, looked like the um, long classic, one, Lo- classic the, Loki. The like, pretentious one. I think it's supposed to be a classic Loki. Classic one, yeah. yeah At the end. Thing. No, that, that's not classic Loki. That's just Loki with his yeah. long <laughs> things as he usually does. Yeah. Like in the Avengers movie, which he has that as well. Yeah, no, he had the spectre, but the, the costume was classic Loki. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Classic costume, yeah. Like like what Richard wore on um, Loki series. Mm. Like, Richard right. Branson or whatever. Mm. Right. Same, the same costume. Yeah. No, that still looked like the costume which he had in the Avengers movie, where he actually did have the long horns as well. Because at the end, right? That that's it looks like the MCU, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Not exactly. Not exactly, but but then he, he did the watcher did say it's the universe where where Black Widow died. Yeah, mm. they had lost their they lost widow. their yes. widow. The widow. So and what, then she got was, put back into so that what, universe. So what was yeah, so what I was saying earlier was like Black Widow she came from another universe. Yeah. And now she's been slot into the, the a prime universe. universe. I call it prime universe. <laughs> not, not likely because <laughs> why is the, Loki the enemy then? That's not right. The, no, no, I was saying to fill in the Bruce Black Widow. Like she she came from another universe. Fill in for the other Black Widow, like to substitute for the other Black Widow, which is, is mixing up mixing up all the characters in the different universes. Yeah, yeah but in a way, this is the how they might spring Widow back. Yeah, that would Obviously be the not way Scarlet to bring her back. <laughs> Someone else. They did mention, oh, you know, like like you know, Nick Fury was saying, "You're not my you're not widow. widow. You're not my. Exactly. You're not she my knows. Natasha. So she doesn't have yeah, to look my like Natasha. Um, but then, noticed. but you have her spirit, so it's yeah. It's possible they might recast. I don't know. Well, I mean, in the Black Widow movie, we saw the sister, yep. right? But yeah. if you have to consider that, that's that that is not the MCU either. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It, but it's also one where they lost the widow. That's the similarity. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but Loki is the enemy. Yeah, Loki mm-hmm. is the enemy. Yeah. So something is also not quite. So the it's same. not quite. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, so either way, at, the, at this point, they they slotted a different, the same character from a different universe to mm. another yeah. universe. And uh, let's see what happens from here. Yeah, yeah. Like, it'll like, be interesting uh, to see um, season two how how that will play out. This one yeah. would have a lot of Easter eggs, I reckon. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. The Lumerian star. Yeah. Even with Gamora, right? How how did she became the way she was? Yeah, yeah. So exactly. just now we talk about it yeah, because the there was must have been a, a missing, missing episode. episode. Um, that was pushed. Yeah, because oh. of COVID, so they couldn't have it in season one. Yeah. Oh yeah, so we'll probably we'll get that episode in season two. Let's see the backstory how she became. Um, yeah, and how she got the up. armor yeah. that she was mm. wearing. Yeah, mm. uh, Titan style uh, armor. Yeah. Yeah. What's this Lemurian Lemurian star? Basically, yeah, the, the right beginning, beginning episode of that's the ship where they found the hydrostomper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember? Or we're back to what's on? The shoe vessel, yes. From yeah. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Yeah, like at the beginning of the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Um, it, I, I mean, mean, the the opening scene was, was so almost exactly the same. As yeah, yeah how like, except, like except jumping off... Carter. Yeah, jumping off the carrier mm. without yeah. any parachute. Yeah. Yeah, that was from... The first moon Avenger. star. Yeah. Mm. 
so long ago. Yeah, yeah but crossbones and say, shouldn't he be wearing a parachute? Well, Peggy no. giving crossbones briefing. <laughs> yeah, so that's a bit different as well. So crossbones was the, the one who actually did it before. Yeah. Crossbones does the honors while well, Steve Rogers listens alongside the other soldiers. Mm. Mm. And then the parallels to Cat the, the Winter parallels. Soldier, <laughs> the intro sequence, yeah. yeah the, 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 the well. banter between Natasha and Steve. <laughs> yeah, Petro mm. challenging Captain Carter to fight without the shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except in this universe, they didn't have the actual Winter Soldier. Bucky Barnes. Yeah, although we yeah. were saying how the Hydra possibly the Hydra Stomper could be, Stomper the, could be Bucky alternate. the yeah. alternate version of mm. that. Yeah. yeah he's playing a different role. Possibly. Playing a, playing a different role, yeah, in this universe. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that might be what the end credit scene was trying to set up. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I, thought, I thought they were hinting it was Steve Rogers, actually. But... Yes, yeah, Steve Rogers right. is probably in there, but... Yeah. The, in this universe, I think the Steve Rogers will become like the Winter Soldier. Mm. Mm. Right, but yeah, that's just speculation. But yeah. I mean, it's po a possibility. It's a possibility. Mm. Anything's possible in what if, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Carter's sequel costume copies Captain America. Mm -hmm. Didn't she wear... Oh, it's slightly different, yeah. right? From it is, um, different. it is. It is more of a British... British flag kind of from the first flag, episode. Though. Yeah. No, I think it's the overall costume from top to bottom. Top to like bottom. The actual yeah. costume, mm. not actually the Stars and Stripes. Uh, mm. Yeah, that's right. The costume was blue with Great Britain's red, white, and blue. Yep. This one doesn't it's, have it. They yeah. cut out the red and blue. And he's saying, saying that Chris Evans also made the same fashion change <laughs> between the first Avenger and Winter Soldier. Mm. Looks different too. Yeah, yeah so they change it to the not yes. as corny one. Yeah, yeah. Not, not the corny flag, the cool one. flag, yeah. flag one. Yeah. 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 Changing yeah. from American flag to, to gray. Yeah. Nice subtle, not subtle change between the two. Mm. Um, it's more cool look, though, the new one. I'm a pretty good dancer too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, they haven't had their dance. They haven't had their dance. <laughs> yeah, they keep talking about sharing the dance. Yeah, yeah. She's, no, this time she's waiting for the dance. For <laughs> yeah. It's the reverse. Eh? Reverse, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but but in the MCU one, Steve never got the dance anyway. Mm. Yeah, so I mean, he, he, he was trapped under a glacier off. for several decades. <laughs> yeah. The Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy ships. Mm. And Dairy Queen. Oh, yeah, Dairy Queen. Yeah, Dairy Queen. <laughs> he worked at Dairy <laughs> Peter Quill at Dairy Queen. At the, the clay yeah. Yeah. The Milano Quill, the leading vessel. <laughs> No, the middle sure. line is the name of the ship. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. The, the, ship, Milano, the leading, right? the leading vessel. Yeah. Mm. After Alyssa Milano. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, Guardian of the Galaxy Two Blue Goo the Dairy Queen. Yeah, the Dairy Queen where. Mmm, yummy. Where yummy. they met. <laughs> yeah. Yummy, yummy. That's where they met yeah. as well. The <laughs> ego and the mother. Yeah, yeah that's where mother. she used to work. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the mother, the uh, Peter Quill's mother. Yeah. Peter Quill's mom. Peter Quill's mom. Yeah. The um, what a Meredith name? Meredith Quill. Meredith Quill. Something Quill. The actress <laughs> forgot her name, but yeah. Uh, Neda Villier. Yeah, and Oh, Neda Villier. Yeah, oh um, yeah. yeah. Thor, what is Neda Villier. Thorbreaker. Neda yeah. Villier. Yes. Where they. Void Stormbreaker, but in this one we see them destroy the Infinity Gauntlet. We see a brief glimpse of animated at I tree, A tree, E tree, E tree, who was played by Peter Dinklage. Dinklage, yeah, the the mm. dwarf, yeah, but the giant, giant dwarf, giant dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, practically giant dwarf. Yeah, as opposed to a, a real dwarf in Game of Thrones. Yeah, uh, what's his name in Game of Thrones? Carry um, on. 
Tyrion. Tyrion, Tyrion, yeah. That's Tyrion right, Link, yeah. Le, uh, Lannister, yes. Big difference in size and dwarf. I know, right? <laughs> Quite a big difference. Gamora has Thanos armor and weapons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she does. The variant, Gamora variant. And the mm. sword, too. The double edge sword. Yeah, the sword. And also double. golden armor. Yes. Mm. And of course, his blade, that, that blade that she was carrying. Yeah, so it implies that she offed her old man. <laughs> yeah. the old man because it's technically the father yeah. but there's a funny thing in, in all these universes Thanos is so weak he, he mm. keeps just yeah. not he just keeps dying, dying or losing or or nice not guy. even yeah. mentioned much he came to a nicer guy yeah, yeah. Need, it's, as well as Tony Stark they just killed him off so many times yeah I know yeah. I'm trying to make a point in all the universes he dies mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um New hot buster gear. gear yeah. huh? Oh, this oh, was okay. a, this was oh what was lost episode lost. I mean lost. Episode. Yeah, we already mentioned the last episode. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Which hopefully we will show in season two. Iron Man landed on Sakaar. Uh, How Stark and Gamora came to be best friends. Mm. Where, where was Sakaar again? Um, Sakaar. Sakaar. Oh, that's the Sakaar episode. Yeah. The, yeah, Sakaar. Everyone likes Sakaar. Where was that again? I, I forgot. Ragnarok. That's right, yeah. The car is with we this oh. is the planet we see in Ragnarok with the uh Jeff Goldblum guy. Oh yeah, the Grandmaster, yeah. Yeah, Grandmaster. It's DJ. <laughs> and Rip record sort yeah. of. Oh this one, yeah, yeah. This yeah, we what? mentioned that it, they said. changed the line. It's now the galaxy, not just the world. Mm. Yeah, but do you find it interesting how it's just like they there'll be a next big bad after that or something the watch it comes up. Watch it. Yeah. yeah, like they were a bit afraid because the, Oh yeah, yeah. And they'll be said, waiting for the next big bad and says, so Oh wait, Tony. <laughs> Turned around and saw the watcher. What? Yeah. Not you start, yeah. We saw mm-hmm. talk about this. Not you start. Yeah, no, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> It's a riff on his his star sized ego. And, and how he kept dying in the series. That's right. He's, he's no longer the center of the MCU now. Yeah. Mm. And he kept dying in the series. Yeah. Well, he used to be the the MCU's, you know, center. Mm. But not anymore. Yeah. He evolved. Shuri's mm. vibranium gauntlets. Yeah, those came back. Those like mm. guns on the wrist. We see. So you use them in the Black Panther movie as well. Mm. Yeah, Black Panther yeah. and Endgame. And then yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, cool. Trademark weapons, oh. yeah. Screaming scene. But, but considering she must have had them at a younger age this time around instead of oh. Yeah, she clearly had the lethal glass built at a much younger age than most parents would approve of. <laughs> 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 Um, what if Poppy's Ragnarok screaming scene? It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. funny. Yeah, that, yeah, the Ragnarok one and this one seem kind of similar, like the scream out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. He's in a pub surrounded by others staring at him. <laughs> in Ragnarok, he was a whisper. He was on a, a, he was on a chair. Yeah, he was on a Me, chair. The Green Master. <laughs> that was hilarious, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't actually in a tunnel. He was, it, that was in his mind. He was just sitting on a chair and he just screams. Mm-hmm. Right. I thought all that screaming was very funny. Yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> well, it's a, also Chris Hemsworth too, right? Yeah, so, yeah still Chris yeah. Hemsworth. They got, they got Chris back, yeah. <laughs> Doctor, Thor's bartender, Doctor Strange. That beer that he yeah, gave him. Yeah, reminds me as well. The refilling one. Keep refilling. Yeah, 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 unlimited yeah. L refills for Thor. Yeah. In magical, the Sanctum Sanctorum. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Where'd they get the Chinese food? Chinese food. <laughs> oh, the Chinese food, yeah. Yeah, they also had Chinese food. Yeah. Yeah, like where in the multiverse did they get the Chinese food? Yeah, good question. They did they conjure it or did they actually get it from they order it from another multi- <laughs> universe? Uh, multi-dimension <laughs> delivery <laughs> service. That <laughs> um he he felt like Chinese food. Yeah. You feel like Chinese, um, yeah. And just, just weird. 
Mm. Yeah. yeah. Actually, actually, this is it's this is, theory. Interesting. It's kind of true because he brings them together one by one. Yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah. The watch he became like a Nick Fury. Building a team, right? Yeah. It's kind of say yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. There was an yeah. idea for a lot. Yeah. Something more. <laughs> Which Nick yeah, Fury says like, that. He says that a lot. There was an idea. Yeah, there was an idea. What a lot from the Avengers. Yeah. So yeah, he's the cosmic version of Nick Fury. Yeah. <laughs> but instead of creating the Avengers, creates the Guardians of the, the multiverse. Guardians of the, the multiverse. Guardians of the multiverse. Yes. Yeah, but the um, uh, mm. difference is that uh, I'm with uh, this guy. Um, um, they had no choice. Uh, with Danny Fury, they yes. did have a choice. Right, right. Well, yeah. this one, the watcher just says, "I've you've been chosen. You have to yeah. come. <laughs> um, I mean, you, know, you, know the, you know, the Multiverse Madness, Doctor Strange 2, I, I, mean, I have no idea who's in it, but I mean, since the watcher is so closely, like, you know, working with Doctor Strange, yeah, he must, he must, the watcher must appear in oh. Multiverse, of, Multiverse of Madness. I don't think he, yeah. He we must, don't really know. We don't yeah, know. I haven't, I haven't looked it up, but I, I, I think he would. There's a good chance. Good chance. Yeah. There is a possibility because the Watcher has already appeared in the MCU. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, there are two of them, right? Yeah, there were two of them. Yeah. In the Guardians of the Galaxy. At the end. Yeah. yeah. No, it. Oh, like, not at the end. Not at the end. It was like sort of. You also cameo in with, the middle. With. It's a picture of him. Right? A vision of him. They, they were in conversation with uh, Stanley. Stanley, that's right. On the moon or something. Yeah. yeah. Like when they were. Which movie was this? Guardians of the Galaxy 2. When they were jumping from planet, like, to, like from jump to jump. Oh, yeah. And then in one of the jumps, we yeah. saw. Um... I thought you said you had no yeah, dialogue in the, in the movie, though. Yeah, he had no dialogue in the movie. But Stanley was talking to them about something. It was a different yeah. voice, I guess. It wasn't <laughs> Jeffrey Wright or yeah. Nope, they didn't talk, but we know that yeah. they were in some sort of conversation. Yeah. Captain Carter is Woody. Oh yeah, she did. Oh, she got the, she the she hammer. Does, she does lift the hammer. Is it flash through the air? Yeah, she didn't exactly lift it there. Well, it's impossible to say, that's true, whether Captain Carter is worthy enough or whether she just grabs the hammer as it crashes to the ground. Yeah, I think it's more like that because yeah. he grabs it while the hammer is already heading to the ground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yondu sticky finger. Yondu makes an appearance. Yeah. Never oh, no, no, not, not, not appearance. No, just they callback. mentioned the sticky fingers. Sticky mm-hmm. fingers technique. Reference. Yeah. Never doubt st- sticky fingers <laughs> <laughs> to snatch the soul stone. That's right. That's what um, mm. Charles said, yeah. Mm-hmm. Zombie cat falcon and Hawkeye. Oh yeah, yeah. Came back yeah. the zombies. But and not they... just um, Scarlet Witch as well. Mm. But they yeah. died. Oh, really? So that's a bit of uh oh yeah continuity error. Yeah, that's a bit strange. Because cat was split in half one way, and the falcon was split in half the other way. Mm. And Hawkeye kind of died as well. Mm. So, um, okay. Yeah, I don't know why they came back when this zombies are supposed to come back. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's weird. By being cut in half. Well, they can uh, zombies, right? So they can still come oh, back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, usually, but not after being cut in half, like straight through it down with the sway or. Yeah, that was strange. Mm. They got to cut their head off. Right, exactly. I was thinking yeah. the way to kill a zombie, if you see Walking yeah. Dead. <laughs> walking Dead, yeah, that's right. Walking Dead theory. Always, okay. always the kill the head. That's the head yeah, yeah, yeah okay. but but the falcon's head was clearly cut in half. Right, right. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I remember that scene. At what, yeah. point, at what point in time that happened? I, I don't know. No, nothing that would be a soup glue in sticky type couldn't fix. <laughs> Confusing that timeline, but 
Anyway, I've, yeah, yes, right. Ivan, Alex. Oh, yeah, she did name drop them. Yes, eh? Ivan, yep. Ivan, Alexei, we know from the Black Widow movie. Black Widow. Yeah. yeah. But, but effectively, Black Widow never knew the name Ivan until the Red Skull said it. Yeah, that's right. When Red Skull referred to her as daughter of Ivan. Yeah. yeah. In, in Avengers Endgame. Yeah, that's right. Red Skull, daughter of Ivan. Mm. Yeah. So that's so talking about her real dad. Real right? dad, yeah. The real, real dad. biological, oh, yeah. biological, biological dad, and Alexei was the red guardian who was her red guardian, <laughs> the pretend father who was her hilarious. Hurts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a funny character played by David Harbour. Yeah. 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 Hilarious guy. Funny character. <laughs> yeah, funny. She was actually. I thought she was funny too. Um, mm. Monica Poy. She was. She played it funny. Oh. Sister. Mm. Oh, the the sister. Uh, Florence Poe. Florence Poe. Florence, 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 Florence Poe, yeah. You yeah. mean Florence, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the tennis player. But, um, yeah, she had a lot of comical lines, like, delivered mm. very, very well. Yeah, we'll see her. Like the in, one. Uh, we'll see her again. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll see, we'll see Hawkeye, Elena Hawkeye again. Hawkeye, because yes. she got recruited by that. By, by, Seinf- by Elaine. Oh, from Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Valentina. Tessa Valentina, Valentina, something, something, something. Yeah. Oh, Black Widow trusts three people, um, herself being one of them. Elena. Elena uh, Boluba. Who's the third character, though? Hawkeye is obviously another, but who's the third? Nick Fury? No. Yeah, Nick Fury, Fury is a strong case, but the line might re- reference Elena. Yeah. Might be Elena. What's yeah. Yeah, three people. On. Yeah, but why would be it Yelena if if they kind of split after? Oh. But, and we never hear of Yelena's name until Black Widow. Mm. That's right. That's right. Uh, I Natasha don't know how never Peggy would. It during yeah. the ten years plus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, how Peggy would know about her. So it's more likely to be Nick Fury then. It's more likely Nick Fury. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, more likely Nick Fury. What's this? Oh, there's the chase. That's right. Yeah, Nicholas yeah. Joseph Fury. Nicholas Joseph Fury, full name. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, this is very similar to when when they're trying to uh, get it off Thanos, the stones. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Woman, woman. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar to that scene. Yeah, yeah, the, the woman power scene. Yeah. 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 But, but they yeah. stole the gauntlet. It wasn't just the one stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last case, it was the infinity gauntlet. Yeah. But this well, one is the one gem, the 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 orange gem. So, yeah. So, so stone. yeah, but it was also not the infinity gauntlet. No, yeah, that's right. It's, it's just one gem. Yeah. No, Where? this this thing got it wrong. What do you mean? Um, uh, okay. It wasn't Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. It was Iron Man's built Iron Gauntlet. Oh, okay. No, no, I well, it, <laughs> Thanos had it. <laughs> that's what it means, right? No, not, a, not, an not an end game. Not an end game. Infinity. Yeah. Oh, if he Infinity Stone. Yeah, not an end game. That was. Iron oh, no, no. that was the Iron Gauntlet. The the gauntlet that Iron the Man Iron built Man with, yeah, so that's the Man one that Man. Iron Man made, yeah. Oh, right, the end when he's like mm. did a sneaky trick to switch it, right? Or something. Yeah, because yeah, still in, the yeah, because an end game, it's a different thing. He, yeah. he didn't come in with the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, All the yeah. infinity stones were in the universe already in the iron gauntlet. To me, that's a completely different scene to what happened here, like in the yeah. episode. It's so this one is the iron gauntlet, the one the gauntlet that could actually change shape and have the infinity stones on it as well. Yeah, no, I understand which um part you're talking about, the Iron Man gauntlet. He's comparing it to that Iron Man gauntlet, mm. right? Yeah, it's, so diff- so it's the uh, Iron Gauntlet, not the Infinity Gauntlet. So right. they were playing keep away with Iron Man's Iron Gauntlet, not the Infinity Gauntlet. 
Yeah. 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 So it's just this, you're saying yeah. this is wrong. Yeah. 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 Because Stannis if you want always... to know the iron gauntlet, I actually have the yeah. thing. Stannis always had his gauntlet right on his, on his hand. Yeah. Yeah. He never, he never let it go. Yeah. So yeah, it's um. What else? Yep. Is there? I got the what? iron gauntlets with me. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I've seen it before. Yeah. Mm. That's. That's the um. Mm. It's the Iron Man one. Yeah, this is the one with the stands as well, but it was the one that Iron Man made. Right, right, right. Yeah. And at the end, Thanos didn't have the Infinity Gauntlet because he was from a different time. So they were after the Iron Gauntlet with the Infinity Stands already in it. So it was mm-hmm. not the Infinity Gauntlet at all. Mm. Yeah, that they were yep. trying to pull it off. Yeah, that's the right. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, right. The wrong, wrong gauntlet. Yeah. Yeah, they got the wrong gauntlet. Mm. But it's similar because they both have the infinity stones. But that's why, at the end, when when Thanos was putting on the gauntlet, it actually changed shape to mold to his hand as well, because um, that's yeah. what the iron the iron gauntlet does. Uh, to do that, yeah. Steal the stones. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's, How about what's this one? Time? This one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But holding them down oh. was kind of similar. Yeah. yeah. I felt I felt some resemblance there with the Thanos battle. A whole bunch of them fighting Thanos on his planet. Yeah. Um, yeah. On yeah. Titan. Titan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Planet Titan. I'm similar. Not not completely the same, but it's a few. Yeah. They, yeah. Mm-hmm. This one, they were completely holding them down. This one, they were like still standing in some way. Yeah. Yeah. But th- but this one, they were trying to take the Infinity Gauntlet off Thanos. And they would have gotten away yeah. from with it too they if it went it. for uh, Peter Quill. Peter Quill. Star Lord. <laughs> yeah, they actually had it, but Star Lord stuffed up. Star Lord. <laughs> he stuffed up. But maybe, but according to. Doctor Strange, that was probably part of the plan. Supposed to happen, yeah. Well, it was one of, I don't know how many. One out of, <laughs> one out of 14 million or something. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Oh, it was t- 2012 Avengers. Isn't left out. Oh, okay, okay. That that, that scene where, where it pans around, the camera, mm. around yeah, each guardian. Scene. Yeah. Mm. Classic uh, panning. New York City. Yeah, see the panning yeah, around the group. Each yeah. character, yeah. Movie tribute. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Red Guardian shield breaks, but Peggy's doesn't. <laughs> mm. The two shields, yeah. yeah that, was, that was cool. The shields going for um, Ultron. <laughs> yeah, actually, there was a cool scene where, where yeah, bo- they both like, came. came uh, like like getting like, hit on both sides. On like, both sides. It's like ping pong, huh? Ping pong, yeah. Yeah, practically. <laughs> <laughs> bang 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 although yeah. red garden shoe shattered though um, yeah because it's not vibranium yeah cap yeah, shoe is vibranium while the russians built it from regular metal mm. they didn't have the vibranium solar mm. wants hydra's domination oh yeah yeah in the end he did kind of look a bit like Murdoch. like, like who like who the other Marvel character. Oh, Matt Maybe. Murdock. No, <laughs> Murdock. M O D O K. Oh, I thought you were oh. talking about uh, oh, Daredevil. A, a, a series <laughs> no, no. Serious about him. Because okay. Murdock is kind of like a digital thing, like inside a body, randomly, okay. as well. Mm. A series about him. Two plus. Hey. They're that silly, weird tears yeah. of Modoc. I try, yeah, it's very silly. I don't like it. Hmm. Oh, all right. Black Panther musical theme. Oh, yes. Yep. Ultron inspired form. There's a brief pipe based musical cue, very similar to the Killmonger theme from Black Panther. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, it's his comic awesome. book form of Armin Zola, Arnim Zola is. Uh, 
uh, <laughs> right, right, the stomach, right, that line about the stomach. Yes, that's the more that's the actually stomach face, the comic stomach comic face. book look, <laughs> stomach yeah. face. That explains the stomach face. Yes, stomach face. Yeah, and and, and Zoila was the one who brought down Ultron once he's got injected. It's the virus, man. Yeah. Only the virus. It's more powerful. Yeah. Oh, here you go. End game ending. Haven't I earned my happy ending? Yep. Mm. I remember that line. Um, Same choice that Steve Rogers faced after helping defeat Thanos, except he actually went back in time. <laughs> that's what they, that's what, why, um, tonight, uh, like with a, showed her to the, uh, the iron, mm. iron, yes. um, the, uh, the, the, the hydro stomper. That, yeah, the hydro, hydro yeah, stomper. stomper. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, here, yeah. There. yeah, Peggy's future timeline needs Captain Carter, right? Yeah. And if her narrative continues progressing down the MCU road, the big man in the sky isn't wrong. Peggy is still to face Thanos, redeem someone she loves, and fight for liberty. Mm. 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 Peggy. Oh, she loves, yeah. Love redeem herself. Yeah. And this is what I think we were saying just now. Yeah, uh, yeah, in this episode. Mm. Oh yeah, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Oh, I think then this must have been that other universe, universe. where all of the Avengers died. Oh, the the uh, in episode three, right? Yeah, three that's why they mm -hmm. said the replacement Avengers. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's like why that Captain sense. Marvel is there. Mm. Like how Captain Marvel was at the end of that episode as well. Yes, so the Watcher agrees to leave Black Widow in the universe from episode three. Yeah, mm. when so angry that universe, Hank all just... of the Avengers died. Not because just... Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, yeah, yeah. Iron. Yeah, Hulk, Black and... Widow, the Hulk. They all died, right? Yeah, well, the ones that he couldn't 15. kill was Cap, Captain America, and Captain Marvel because yeah. well, Captain Marvel was somewhere else, and mm. Captain America was still in ice at that point. Yeah. 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 So that I makes think, more sense now, though. So I guess, yeah, that's why Watcher mm -hmm. brought her to this one. Yeah. Right. To replace all the, the Avengers died. The one who died. Well, yeah. and probably all the other ones who died. <laughs> yeah. Because in this universe, um, Loki still had his plan to invade Earth, basically. <laughs> yeah, at the end yeah. of that episode as well. Yeah. yeah. Loki so that's probably invade. why there was that battle. Yeah. That same battle, and then he had the scepter as well. Yeah. The culprit, yeah. Yeah, from the scepter from 2012, and yeah. probably had the army, the Centauri army as well. Hmm. Yeah, the Chitauri and Chitauri as well. And the Mind Stern. Mind Stern. Mm. Yeah. Peter Quill gets to be Star Lord. Hmm. Yeah, Star Lord. But not Prep, Prep, Prep. T'Challa resumes defending the Missouri branch of Dairy Queen from Ego, and he gives Peter Quill one of Star Lord's trademark pistols. <laughs> but so, not our good old Pratt Pratt Pratt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Temporary only. All right, here you go. Is Steve Rogers the new Winter Soldier? Because uh, we are saying how. That's the question, yeah. Uh, Black Widow confirms there's a person inside giving Peggy hope of reuniting with Steve and this feels very eerily like what happened to Bucky Barnes and Steve did get captured by Hydra during the episode one mm. yeah hopefully we might find out in season two mm. Mm. yeah we'll find out yeah we'll see how that turns out yeah, mm -hmm. so so that's a big setup for season two, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a pretty good finale, like a good mm -hmm. conclusion to pretty the good finale. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good finale, a bit short again. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. a regular episode, like I said, no double episode again. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it an anthology episode though. It's more like a assembling <laughs> yeah. heroes yeah. To, to fight the multiverse threat. Mm. Yeah, but still, it's still considered a what if. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's a what if that brings all the other what ifs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, then it's it still, still lives up to the name as what if. Mm. What if? <clears throat> they know what they are. It's what if. Mm. Mm. But it, it kind of ties into the MCU, right? Because the, the Watcher has interfered, so yeah. it possibly <clears throat> might go into the MCU. Yeah. Actually, it might see more linkage to the Multiverse of Madness when it comes mm. out. Might link yeah. to that, maybe. Yeah, Quite who knows? Spider-Man. Multiverse yeah. future setup. It's yeah, probably. Yeah. Or well, even we... Spider Man, right? No way home. Even that, maybe. Yeah, well, we already know that Loki's the show plays a big part in the whole MCU multi-race breaking. Hmm. There's a Kang, Kang the Conqueror and the... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you said something about Kang there. Oh. What? Can you explain? You said Kang? No, no Kang. Oh. <clears throat> no. Black Widow receives her reward. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. She was the last surviving human in Ultron's. Yeah, she's the last surviving living being. Yeah, <laughs> it's true, right? And so she got pulled into this episode three timeline. Yeah, <clears throat> there was one. And so, so this is a good point here because, right, this is another case of the Watcher interfering, an act of intervention, redirecting an entire timeline. And so there you go. Like he, he's he's kind of interfering mm. now. <laughs> it's been like yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was the, yeah. It was Natasha as well, was it Natasha? She's um Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. I guess we'll see what happens. And also, yeah, how about Stop the Strange Supreme's ending and future? Where does he go from here? Uh, Strange change to the multiverse of madness. Um, mm. but is, is is this the one that's going to be appearing? Maybe. No, this yeah. Doctor Strange seems so, to yeah. know his wrongs now, but he's looking after that pocket universe with Killmonger and Zola. Yeah, I know, but I guess the question is: Well, this Doctor Strange Supreme might make appearance in, like. Doctor is Strange. that gonna be the Sorcerer Supreme in in, in the, the new Doctor Strange? Yeah, the, movie. Mm, because I guess, I guess we'll is, find out. It would be fascinating to see Doctor Strange interact yeah. with a variant of himself. Yeah. yeah, who he would learn seems rather more ambivalent about his beloved knight nurse Christian Palmer than he is. <laughs> so, hmm. so another Strange versus Strange battle. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. That's a potential right potential storyline there. Mm-hmm. So one who lost Christine Palmer and one who did not. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And the Watcher is now the protector of the multiverse. Yeah. Because he's not just an observer, right? He's he's a he's actually intervened. Well now he's mm. inter- yeah, now he's he's yeah. now involved. <laughs> no longer yeah. is he a mere multiverse observer, now he considers himself the protector. Right. Mm. It's because the multiverse it's changed, yeah. His role has changed. It's, up, it's been promoted. He's been promoted, not, yeah. Not by yep. choice. <laughs> but considering if you consider the multiverse, Kang would be worse than Ultra. Yeah. yeah. Kang would be worse than Ultron. Oh, I guess that's why in this episode they just got rid of Ultron as a threat. Because we thought he would continue into like season two or something, but mm, no, just they, ended. Yeah. They trapped him, so now that leaves the door open for Kang to be the yeah. next villain. So Kang has multiple variants who will rage against the multiverse. Mm. Yeah. Could be. And what will happen in season two? Well, mm. well, actually, the uh, showrunner says that there will be Shang Chi. Actually, Shang Chi will appear in Shang-Chi. season two. Oh, Eternals. okay. Oh, cool. Mm. And Black Widow characters. Yeah. Right. Internals as well. Internals, yeah. 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 Mm. So it seems like they did say the Eternals will explain why they were not yeah. interfering. They were not mm. there. We, I think we talked about that 
one. Yeah, yeah. but but they have come out to say that the Eternals movie will explain why. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think it's good. It's good that they do that. Yeah. Explain why they they didn't interfere. Yeah. Where were they? <laughs> like Marvel is back. And why they will be interfering now because the multiverse is in danger. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, these are all the movies releasing after What If in chronological yeah. order. Eternals, so as we many. just said. Yeah, November so 5th. The next one. Which is yeah, less than a month away. Spider Man No Way Home, yep. December 17th. Wait for that. And yep. he, in March is when we get Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Don't forget Hawkeye. Oh, yeah. I think it's just, this is all got... just about the movies. Yeah. The movies, yeah. Yeah, all the movies. Yeah. Yeah, but you still have to consider Hawkeye because that's linked as well. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. storyline will lead into that. So. And then. Oh, Thor. Okay, yeah. All these ones. Love and Thunder. Wakanda yeah. Forever. Black Panther. And also and Marvels. The Marvels. And then moving on to oh. 2023. And then yeah. Quantum Mania. So, so before oh, the Marvel one. series, they are. They, Gonna have that Miss Marvel TV series as well. Yeah, so we got Hawkeye, we got Miss Marvel, and then Volume Three of God. Yeah, and all these things. ones that are just so far three. away. Deadpool, like, yes, so far away. Deadpool three. Deadpool plus. And then Blade. Yeah, it'll be interesting how Blade fits into the to yeah. the MCU. I'd like yeah. to see their version of it. You know. Well, Bahashala, what's the name? Ali, I don't know. Yeah. 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 See how they fitted him into the MCU. Mm. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. In terms of now that this is the the last one, how would you guys rank all the episodes? I I will I say the f- <laughs> best is still the Doctor Strange one. Doctor Strange one. That's, I say. I think so. that's still yeah. I think it's almost everyone's favorite. Yeah, I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. almost. Let's see which one. Well, apparently, well, according to Screen Rant, they they reckon the party one is is the <laughs> worst one. <laughs> is it? Oh, actually, I really enjoyed it. I, I kind of enjoyed it. I, I didn't mind the that. Comedy. that they so didn't right. mind it. So I loved it. Yeah. And then the it's episode really six was the Q Wonga rescue Tony Stark one. That was well, alright. Yeah. No, it's well, this is Screen Rant's idea, but not really our choices. Yeah, I know. I know. But I'm just. Just, mm. just showing you what screen ran is. Interesting. Mm. I mean, we, there's, there's, so, there's tons of lists out there anyway. But yeah, I think every, they all, they everyone all agree. Everyone would disagree in some way. Actually, no, this one is only number, it's not the best. Number three. Number yeah. three, yeah. So four. I mean, who judges these ranks anyway? I mean, yeah. Yeah, everyone would rank it differently. Everyone's got their personal preferences, right? And That's right. I would not have put that one as number one. No, that's not Ultron that's not one. Me. Actually, this I mean I kind of like this one. Um but... it was a okay one, but yeah, I wouldn't say it was the best one because it didn't really yeah. get you emotionally. Is that, that was the last week's yeah. one, right? Is that all right? Last yes. week's one. Episode eight. He entered the uh multi-dimension, the watcher dimension. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. Actually, that was yeah. that was really good. Well, here's another yeah. list. <laughs> Good, but I wouldn't put first, you know. Like I still oh, think well, Doctor Strange is first. This one isn't ranked solo Strangers. because oh wow, this yeah, this this is the complete opposite. <laughs> it was the best one oh, as the last one. No. The worst one. Yeah, like everyone does it everyone's differently. Different. Everyone's different, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, see so there's there's all these yeah rankings. So, so don't look at these rankings because everyone will disagree. Well, that's why it's good because then you because then we'll, we won't be we influenced diversity. by um and then we can have our own rankings. See the diversity. <laughs> Just rank it yourself. Well, yeah. see, this one likes zombies, so no, so you can no, tell no. that it's a uh, very uh uh diverse. The zombie was in the middle for me. Out of all the, it was in the middle. Yeah, bottom half actually. Um. But I think for all of us, we all agree that Doctor Strange was the best. Yeah, the best. Yeah. 
Definitely my favorite one. Mm. Well, it's probably the most emotionally heavy one as well. Mm. I mean, yeah. Every episode has its own style, its own um, elements and its own vibe mm. and themes. Like party of thought is supposed to be the more fun, fun one, yeah. comical mm. one, not too serious, but it did have a good re re revelation, uh, revelation. Revelation. Yeah. yeah. When um, old fond vision came in. Oh, it has a twist at the end, yes. Yeah, yeah. the old trend. So sort of twist, yeah. It's a good. Yeah. Fan, yeah. So now we'll see Kang the Conqueror. Probably in season two as well. Mm. Cool. Pro same guy at the um uh, I forgot his name, the uh, the actor. Yeah. Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Jonathan gonna Majors. be that's gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. mm. It's be madness, yeah. But considering he didn't lie when T said that Kang was not going to be in Loki. Mm. Mm. Because Kang wasn't in Loki. Yeah. Thankfully, he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't. It was he who remains. <laughs> yeah, it was he who remains. remains. Yeah. Which is not Kang, necessarily. Mm. Well, this is interesting. So apparently, the, the writer received hate mail over Iron <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> what? Hate mail, he, man. Probably Robert wrote it. Robert Downey Jr. He wrote it. <laughs> oh yeah, he he uh he rallied the fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, I don't like people who would write down hate things or like even send mail. Yeah, it I mean, some of the really... die, some of the diehard fans do it. You know, like yeah, in in many other it's shows, a bit strange. They, they would do yeah. even death when... threats sometimes. I can't believe it's just it's just a show in the end. It's I mean. just a show. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. a show in the end. <laughs> if why would they be so die? <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. Like hate mail. It's a hate show. <laughs> it's just don't, a show. It's just don't a show. Send hate mail or death threats because then you're Yeah. And he doing... already died in Endgame yeah. anyway. So like Yeah. But what are the mm -hmm. these guys are like not doing mm -hmm. they're not thinking straight. Mm -hmm. No, I mean but yeah. You, there's a lot of crazy fans out there, though. Yeah, <laughs> just like with music fans, right? There's a lot of crazy music fans. And probably it's just a very, very small percentage, but, you know, even a point something percent of, like, humongous number of people is still can still, you know, mm. be substantial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's the problem mm. of getting big in the industry. You'll always get hit mail at some point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there are always going to be people like that. Mm. Even with music artists, you know, and bands, you know, you know the guy who shot John Lennon. He was a, a best fan of John Lennon. So, mm. and even Tay Tay has like crazy fans as well. Mm. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. And one of my favorite singers was actually killed by a fan as well. Crazy. Mm. Sad. Yeah, it happens. Mm. Crazy. Sad. Sad things happen mm. raise fans which don't really make sense mm. they take it way too seriously mm. and delusional yeah there's some crazy ones there actually this is the the question this is the thing that that bernie raised so well will he be will the watcher be in doctor strange 2 possibly could he mm. return possible yeah? Possible. I think it's very possible. The way I he's think so, he will. I think so he close. will. Yeah, because he's so closely tied with Watcher, right? Yeah. Well, least... it is confirmed that he will return in season two. That's all we yeah. know. But yeah, yeah. Um, but whether he'll appear in the live action <laughs> or not, there is a growing hope that he will. Mm. Because well, the fact that they cast Jeffrey Wright. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he's an actor more than capable of doing it. Like, right. mm. yeah, possible, possible. Yeah. I think he'll, I think he'll definitely return. I mean, he'll at least be in the Gamora episode. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, that, that's a possibility for sure. <clears throat> yeah, the return for what if season two and what strange two. Mm. Very possibly, yeah. Mm. Right. What else? I think. What else? What else? Uh, Score. Two. Actually, wait. Uh, this yeah. So again, <laughs> the creators actually address the what if creators actually address this uh, question as well. Jeffrey Wright playing live action watcher. That'd be cool. Huh? It'd be cool. Good. Well, they say yeah. um. Jeffrey Wright can play actually, any yeah, role he yeah. wants as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> mm -hmm. We love him, so it's all up to Kevin Feige. At some point, maybe. Mm. But then uh, this, then she says, not in costume, in jeans and a sweater, <laughs> drinking a cup of coffee. <laughs> he walks in from crafty over to the shop. Yeah, anyway, so they, they probably haven't uh, planned anything, but they are, mm. you know. Okay. Probably quite likely. Maybe I think, yeah, someone did mention... Possible. Someone mentioned that he's yeah. playing James yeah. Gordon. he's actually playing James Gordon. Gordon in Batman as well. Batman, oh, the new Batman okay. with Robert Pattinson. That's right. Oh, that's, that's right. interesting. Okay. New commissioner. So he's getting all his... Commissioner, uh, yeah. Role actually, at this, at this stage, movies. year one, I don't think he's commissioner yet. That's an early Batman tale. So he's probably just a captain. Mm. Maybe, I think. Mm. Good point. Mm. <laughs> Oh, he's rolled into the hero movies, huh? Yeah. And the new Alfred is... Oh, it's, um, it's Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis, Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis right? Serkis. Yeah, he's good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> is it, wasn't there meant to be, like, either a movie or a series called Pennyworth or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's the Alfred, young Alfred TV yeah. series. Yeah. You know, back in World War. Back in uh, Europe, yeah. Too. Oh, too. But, but like, it was he, actually before he went to America. <laughs> yeah, this is back when, like, oh. this is about the origins of how he met. How he met uh, Bruce Wayne's dad. Thomas, Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Thomas yeah. Wayne. Thomas Wayne, yeah. Thomas Wayne, and yeah. Oh, cool. Like an Arthur Arthur origin story. Yeah, it's more of an origin story. I didn't know about that. Oh, Alfred. Yeah, Alfred. But now we're in DC, not Marvel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well, well Jeffrey seen... Wright is the bridge. <laughs> yeah, bridge. that's right, because he's, he's the watch. <laughs> He's the bridge. Well, he he might be the bridge between DC and Marvel too. That's right. <laughs> crossover, man. A, a natural crossover just then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then we just said, and um, I guess there's a few characters that cross over from both already. Um, yeah, we already just mentioned two in the short period yeah, of time. Andy Circus and uh, Andy Circus well. and Jeffrey Wright. Yeah. <clears throat> Andy Circus, we know as yeah, yeah. minor character. I can't remember. Yeah, Claw. Oh yeah, Claw. 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 Yeah. Claw. Yeah. Who yeah. is effectively dead now? Anyway. Yeah. yeah. He's a funny cat. <laughs> but he did appear in like several movies. So. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Real. Yeah. Of my will. Me a prince style. <laughs> So, Marvel's What If isn't meant to set up MCU's Avengers 5. Isn't it? Okay. Isn't. <laughs> isn't. So, it's just a possible look, glimpse at what uh, a Guardians of the Multiverse could look like. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to miss the original Avengers, though. I missed them. Mm, yeah. yeah, we missed them, but yeah, unfortunately, they are gone. Yeah. So Ruffalo is the only one left. Mm. Yes. Professor um, Hulk. Professor Hulk. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Actually, what I wonder what happened to him, you know, in the zombie episode where he <laughs> was fighting the zombies and then they they panned it out. But but wait, isn't sorry, him. yeah. So I was just thinking Peter Quill would still be coming back though for volume three, surely. Like, yep. So he's not gone, really. He's not an Avenger. I mean, he's not an original Avenger. Mm. Yeah, he's not an Avenger. He's mm -hmm. Guardians. Mm. I guess he's the main lead for Guardians, which yeah. Yeah, he'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah. Actually, here's one of those fun fan debates. But we'll Who see. But we'll see fight. him in the big Thor: Love and Thunder mm. as well, Peter Quill. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Yeah, 
you teamed up with um Thorne, yeah. So. Yeah, I guess I just think of him as more of like a phase one character that's gonna go all the way through to hmm. the next phase as well. Without mm. Infinity or... Stones, who would win, right? <laughs> mm. Good question. Yeah, because obviously with Infinity Stones, I reckon Ultron Vision. Really, without stones? Oh, oh no, with the stone then. Uh, with, with the stone, yeah. yeah. What is talking about? If 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 neither of them had stones. Oh, okay. Oh, um, yeah. Well, considering <laughs> if the Avengers did fight Ultron without any of the Infinity Stones either. Yeah. And the Avengers also fought, fought Thanos, Thanos with, without, without the Infinity that's Stones right, that's right. either. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Thanos had an army. Mm. Yeah, Thanos um... used his sword to deflect. Yeah, okay. Ultron may be a threat to the Avengers, but he'd be no match for Thanos. Because as you say, right? Mm. Both the Avengers, I mean, they okay. went out against both of them. Yeah. So considering mm. as well, Thanos did destroy the Vibranium Shield. Yeah, that's right. Vibranium. See, yeah. vibranium yeah, is one of the blade. most durable substances, but it does have its limits. Yeah, with his blade, I remember. In that yeah. Thing against and those double bladed America. sword, which was slightly made of Uru, destroyed the shield it with did. repeated blows. It's a dented it. Dented it. It has a major dent in it, yeah. So in the one on one fight, that's right. Thanos could easily break through Ultron's armored body if it could break through vibranium already, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it did seem like in the fight against Ultron, they did break Thanos' arm until he like grew it back somehow. <laughs> so I think Thanos would have won. Yeah. yeah Thanos' blade is made from a a stronger material from another planet, right? Another universe. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the zombie episode, episode, I wonder what happened to the Hulk, you know how at the end he went to fight all those zombies and hand it out. Uh, Yeah, we tried to explain it in during that episode, but we can get a definitive answer. Yeah, interesting what happened to him, yeah. Yeah. What happened to him? Mm. Oh, you mean when something went into him? No, you know when the no when against the zombies. the zombies. Oh, against zombies. the zombies. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we talked the about zombies. that. Um, yeah, we talked about it, but we didn't get a final answer because we were saying how he, we did he, mention that right. he can't be affected by it because his skin is like it's immortal. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But the zombie Scarlet Witch appeared. Yes, was... yes, yeah, she, Scarlet, did. Yeah, she, did. Did. she did. She Scarlet did. Scarlet Witch appeared. Yeah, he appeared. He has died. <laughs> explained. So P might have the died Hulk as well in this episode. The Hulk might have died. It would have been good to, yeah, have some re- revelation or yeah. closure for that as well. Mm. Yeah. Episode. yeah. But then the end was a bit of a continuity error with the zombies. So. Yeah, oh, well. I think it did make sense, like the Cap Falcon and Hawkeye being there. So yeah, before we end, we should give our scores. Oh, yes. What's your... Maybe who wants to go? (laughs) Uh, I'll give a score first. I give it a 6.5 for me. Actually, since this is is the last episode, give the episode score and the season score. The whole season score, yeah. Yeah. The season score, I give a 7. Okay. Yeah. I think same for me as well. Like, I I like this episode. Um, So, yeah. 6.5. 6.5. I just oh, would have wow. liked a bit more, but I know that they had to cut off, you know, the 10th episode. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, 7. Yeah. But I would have given it an 8, I think, if I had seen that extra episode. <laughs> yeah, we lost a bit of context with that. Yeah, that yeah we lost that context. Oh, but that's not the writer's fault, really. Hmm. It's just yeah. in the pandemic hit, so, yeah. Yeah, we lost a third. Hopefully they'll bring it back in season two, like mm. to explain the backstory. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I would. I think I would have liked the finale to be a uh, like a, a one more. hour thing. Um, yeah, and a bit more conclusive as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit. 
it's a little bit hastily like assembled. Um, but... Yeah, but we did kind of say that the finale was probably not going to be a double. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But well, that's what I'm saying. I was, I, I probably would have liked it to be a like a you know mm. double. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's why it's a six point five for me. Yeah. Whereas if it had yeah. been like a longer, a proper finale episode, it would be like a seven. I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I'm around the same as Steph. And yeah, six point five ish. Yeah, actually, there's. Stephen Marcus, what's your season score, overall season score? Oh, season. Yeah. Season score is about a seven, yeah. Yeah, same as yeah, seven. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. It was not a bad finale, but it was, I'd like to see more, um, I would like to see more, I guess, um, what is the word? Like Tying up more. loose ends. Yeah. Part loose ends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah probably. Yeah. yeah. Revelation or something. And yeah. And the, the, the inclusion, but I guess they're trying to have a hang, try to hang, hang it on, uh, have a um, a cliffhanger for um for, for season two, I guess. But um, yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's still okay. So I thought uh, I think it was six and a half. And um, overall season, actually, I thought the overall season was in general was really, it was a really, really good series. I like how they tied everything, almost episodes together. Yeah. In the end, sort yeah. of tied together a little bit, but um, yeah. it's good how they bring it together. But it was good. It was overall it was pretty good. So maybe seven overall season was seven. 7.5. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. So, Jeff? Um, this one, um, I kind of agree with everyone. Uh, I'm going to give it 7.5 7. Um, mm. because it's got all of the characters. Um, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. It's kind so of fun when they can it, combine yeah. them all um, okay. and then. Yeah, see how they all interact. It's like the that. Avengers, right? Getting yeah. together yeah. for the first time that we saw them. Building a squad, you know. 2012. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was yeah, it was pretty uh, it was pretty good overall the series. And that's probably what I'm gonna give for the whole thing. 7.5. Mm. Um, yeah. So it's good. And Bill, is Bill still around or? Oh Bill. Bill. Are you still right and James still on? And James. <laughs> well, Bill <laughs> muted himself, so. Yeah. Well, 6.5. 6.5 for the episode. Yeah. What about the season? <laughs> I only saw. Actually, yeah, you, you haven't seen all of them. You so did maybe see it's all of it, yeah. For you to yeah. Yeah. You see at least <laughs> half of them. At least <laughs> half of them. <laughs> for the season. <laughs> but it seems like we're mostly agreed. Yeah. Like four of us have six point five and seven. Yeah, two for the finale and seven yeah. for the overall season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. one is higher. They went higher. Yeah. And five um, higher. Yeah. And Dan James agrees with the six point five for the episode, but hasn't seen the entire season, so it counts in, based on that. Yeah. Yeah. In a for him, in a. They're not available. <clears throat> Who's in a? James, did, did you at least half? Did you see at least half the episodes? Like, I, I'm not sure, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't, I I can't remember which ones you saw. Yeah, maybe you saw four, maybe. Or... I saw the first one, I think. Mm. I saw the zombie one, a little bit, only half of the zombie one. And yeah, maybe mm. not many. I think maybe three, three or four, yeah. I remember so, no, 33%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and is Bill still here? Or... Bill, are you around? Uh, is falling asleep? Or, or has he left? Or, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is, uh, well, Watcher continue breaking his off. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because the thing I think what's just now uh, John also said Kang, right? Kang's yeah. gonna be a big bad. So could the watcher be stepping up to contend with Kang? 
I guess it's going to have to. You possibly, know, if, possibly. If he's, to, if he's chosen if they're like to become multiple protector. Multiple yeah. Exactly, yeah. now that he's multiple protector. Because yeah. Yeah. Hmm. he decided to take on the role of protector now. And if Kang so. is the the big threat and he's a protector, then he has to. <laughs> he has to get involved again. Get involved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, one thing about the previous episode, it was good to see the Watcher, like, we, we, we found out that he actually can fight. He's got some... Some yeah, powers, right? That's that's right. Right. yeah, he's got some fighting. Although the thing is, he needed help. He's yeah, okay. He was against Ultron. Against yeah, Ultron. Guess, yeah. yeah. He still needed Doctor Strange. To help so that's the thing. He just Ultron he, alone. He needed help. Mm. So you know, against mm. Kang, he probably yeah. had no chance. Mm. <laughs> well, he could get help from the Eternals. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying he can't. He can't do it himself. But yeah, he definitely needs to recruit again. Needs a whole yeah. team. He needs well, another team. Yeah. Well, a... they did kind of say in the show that he was looking for just one person to defeat them all, but he couldn't, so he had to mm. form a team. Form a team, yeah. Yeah. He needs a whole team now to mm. probably defeat Kang as well. And maybe a bigger team um, mm. with the right people, I guess. To I guess well, like Kang would be like... multiple Kangs, not just one. That's yeah. right, because yeah. his fighting so many so <laughs> yeah from different from universes yeah. yeah but um it's like i guess it's like a nick fury like he just uh, recruits the best and the best yeah. the most powerful to, mm. to, nick fury. to defeat the villains <laughs> like nick fury doesn't put himself here yeah, so. yeah, really well what what uh what's after this for next, next week, one, yeah. I mean, I mean, in terms of Marvel shows, the uh, the next show is uh, obviously okay. Hawkeye, right? Okay. Yeah. When but is that, that coming? But out? But they won't be out for um, December, is it? Or... When is it coming out? Yeah, when is it? Actually, that's uh, a good next month. That's a good question. Let me. How many episodes? Yeah. So every MCU show releasing after What If is yeah. The next we should one look at the TV shows as well, or is... or, the, or the series Hawkeye, which is. Yeah. Next month. November 24th. The trailer looks like a Christmas special. Oh, wow. November yeah. 24th. Okay. Christmas theme one. I know. Right? Christmas, Christmas, Snow and Christmas, Christmas Eve. That's Christmas Eve. It looks good. Yeah. The, tra- the trailer was so Christmassy. You only have yeah. six episodes sure. and debut oh, on Disney okay. Plus on November 24th. Oh, it's only six. 24th. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. So it's going to be all of December, which, you know, is the season. Like it's oh, the Christmas yeah. season. So I guess so. that's the yeah, yeah, yeah that's mm-hmm. what they are trying to to, to do. Yeah. Christmas yeah. leading up to Christmas, yeah. Series yeah, leading up three. to Christmas. Jerry Marina, yeah, he's back. Jerry Marina and <laughs> Happy Steinfield. Oh Steinfield. Yeah. Um Mon- Monica uh, uh, sorry, Florence Poi back. Ju- yeah. Seinfeld. Uh, oh Julia Vera Farmiga is gonna be our Vera bishop. F- Vera Familia, she's who, familiar. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, from yeah. The Conjuring, Lorraine. Yeah, yeah, Lauren. yeah, no, yeah, that's right, Lorraine. Yeah. As Eleanor <laughs> Bishop. Eleanor yeah. Bishop. Yeah, interesting that she's coming into this mm. universe so, too. MCU. Oh, okay. oh, cool. So that would be Kate Bishop's mom. Mm. Kate Bishop's mom. Yeah, Eleanor Bishop. Hmm. Mm. Wow. Very cool to see her there. Yeah. And then Miss Marvel. That's. Going into oh, next okay, year, yeah. <laughs> Kamala yeah. Khan, and there's no premiere that yet. Uh, uh, this is a movie as well, right? Um, it's no series. Like a, this is the series. series. Yeah. The movie is um, the Marvels. Marvels. That's right, the yeah. Marvels. So that's like a sequel to Captain Marvel. Yes. The Marvels is because it's going to be Miss Marvel Marvels. and Captain Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's so why they is... have the TV series first to introduce us uh, to Miss Marvel. To Miss Marvel. Yeah. So Miss Marvel is a huge fan of Captain Marvel, so she calls mm. her character Miss Marvel. Mm. Moon Knight. Oh, I don't know much about Moon Knight. Oh, I'm looking forward to this because I don't know much about this character, this is, uh, but the fact that Oscar, Oscar Isaac, Isaac. Playing like Moon a brand new character, yeah, and oh, Ethan Hawke yeah. as well. Ethan Hawke. Oh. Wow. Oh, I've him for a while. Um, he's, um, yeah. oh, he's, oh. Well, he's been in some romantic comedies. Um, <laughs> oh, um, he's some really good romantic comedies. Ethan Hawke. Yeah, oh, yeah um, Sunset. Yeah. Um, sunset before sunset, before midnight, <laughs> before sunrise. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. 
And yeah, Oscar yeah. Isaac right. is another one yes. who has <laughs> been oh, in from Star Wars. Story. Well, Star, Star Wars, Wars, that's right. So Star Wars story, yeah. From Paul Dameron to the Moon Knight. Paul Dameron, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pommy. Yeah. I mean Pom, yeah. She Hong is another series, 2022. Kind of, uh, kind of, Tatiana Mas Maslani. Oh, Maslani. Is it bro? And Mark Ruffalo as Bruce. Yeah, he's back too. Also, he's still there. Okay. And Jamila Jamil. Jamila oh. Jamil as Tatiana Jamil. T Titania. Titania. Yeah. Uh, okay, Titania. so Abomination is if, also gonna yeah. appear here as well. If you know who Jamila Jamil is, no. She's kind of funny in the good place. Oh, I know that series. I know that. Yeah. With Ted Dancer. Yeah. Yeah. Jamila Jamil. Yeah, she's she was quite a funny one in the good place. Yeah, that was a funny comedy, that one. Funny sitcom. Yeah. A good place. Yeah. 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 A good place. Wow. So many shows. Yeah. Ooh. Secret Invasion also. Jonah's favorite. I think one of his most anticipated. Well, yeah, it's got Sam Jackson. <laughs> Nick Fury. Nick Fury. Yeah. It's got Amelia Clark. Oh, Amelia yeah. Clark. Uh, yeah, yeah two has. Yeah, they mentioned Amelia Clark. Dragon Queen. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing her in this in this one. Uh, ben Mendelsohn is back. Oh, back is Talos. Talos yeah. is back. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I like Talos. <laughs> and then Nick Fury will be in this too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Nick Fury. Oh, this is a holiday special. Wow, this is uh, like a year away, like December 2022. Yeah, <laughs> but that will be fun. I I'd love to see a holiday special with the characters of Guardians of the Galaxy. So this this will be before laugh. the third the movie. movie. Yes. Yeah, this will be laugh. fun. <laughs> but apparently this holiday special actually could just be a movie, not just a special. Like a, you mean a movie Like a movie length? length. Like a movie length, that's yeah. what they're saying. Uh, well, you'll bring back James one. Gunn as writer director, so yeah, yeah. but we'll so see what happens it. because it's either going to be a movie, a TV special, or just a short special somewhere. Well, this is a, under the heading of TV series, so it's probably going to be like it could be like a movie, TV movie, TV, TV movie, movie length. It yeah. could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. TV, TV holiday length. special, yeah, Iron Heart. Oh, this is. Iron Heart, Iron Man's. Um, this is the female Iron Man. This is the female one, yeah. Riri, Riri Williams. Williams, yeah. Iron Man's daughter? Not, not the daughter. No, not the I daughter. Think, no, no, no. Uh, he took her on. Uh, well, someone it's else. not really biological she's, daughter. She's more of well, like a protege. Like, yeah. you know yeah. how, how Spider Man is kind of like his yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah, like yeah, it's, it's more. Yeah, it was meant to be Riri Williams. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Riri Williams. Because yeah. that was meant to be the Stark scholarship thing. Yes, yeah, scholarship, that's right. right. Yeah. Armor Wars. Oh, James Rody. Yep. Oh, Rody. Don Cheadle's back. Oh. Don Cheadle, yes. Don Cheadle. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, 2023. Oh, titled Wakanda series. I heard about this. It's okay. actually going to be a series set at Wakanda. Right. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Coogler is on board. So he's yeah. the director of the Black Panther movie. The Nai Guerrero's mm. back. The Nai, yep. Guerrero is back. Is back as Okoye. Okoye. Yeah, uh, yeah they've confirmed the series already, so yeah. it's coming. Yeah. Mm. And then it's Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Another, another Halloween special. <laughs> yes, it's going to be Guardians too. <laughs> Guardians, Guardians characters. Guardians I'd love to yeah. see that. Werewolves. Yeah. <laughs> Werewolf. Yeah. There's going to be a real wolf in And then an Echo. Who's Echo again? Oh, oh Maya Lopez. Yeah. Echo. Um, right. Wow, this is very... They don't really know that one much. And Loki okay. Season 2, which... Um, yes, of course. I'm looking forward to that. Who knows? No, oh, yeah, no, yeah. no release date. Yeah. But, so, you know, Sophie... But we do so know that there's going to be a season Dean Martino yeah. will be back. Hmm. Yeah, Dean Martino. Yeah. Oh. And season two of What If? <laughs> what If, of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah, What If, of course. Could be released in 2022. Yeah, so those are all the shows. But the next one, obviously, the, is the... Okay. Uh, in November. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Awesome. Yay. And hopefully by then we'll have seen Shang-Chi and Eternals. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 